chaos has returned to Syria's southern region. As of March 18th, several serious security incidents were reported in the region, specifically in the government of Dara. On March 15th, a battle broke out in Jassim in the western countryside of Dara when a force of the General Intelligence Directorate GID, stormed the town to arrest a number of gunmen who are wanted for cooperating with ISIS and carrying out terrorist attacks. The gunmen resisted arrest and targeted the GID force with assault rifles and rocket-propelled grenades. As a result, five intelligence officers were killed. The gunmen also damaged two truck-mounted machine guns and an armored vehicle belonging to the GID. Following the battle, the Syrian Arab Army SAA besieged Jassim with a large, heavily armed force. An initial agreement with the locals to secure Jassim was reached. However, the wanted gunmen are still hiding in the town. On March 17th, Tasir Hamdi al okla head of Jassim's local council, was gunned down by unidentified gunmen inside the town. On the same day, two patrols of the Syrian Political Security Directorate, PSD, were targeted with improvised explosive devices on the Damascus Dara Highway. The first patrol was targeted near the Kirbet Ghazale Bridge, while the second one came under attack next to the Al Ayman gas station. The two attacks wounded a number of PSD officers. ISIS cells were allegedly behind the attacks. The security situation in Dara is deteriorating once again. ISIS appears to be rebuilding its influence in the government. Government forces will likely take decisive action to bring order back to Dara. Any such action will likely start in Jassim. Meanwhile, in Syria's central region, the situation is not much better. ISIS cells are once again stepping up their attacks on government forces in the region. On March 17th, the Al-Quds Brigade, a Palestinian pro-Damascus armed group, announced that five of its fighters were killed in the eastern countryside of Homs. The fighters were reportedly conducting a combing operation in the area of al sateha in the al Amor mountain chain when they were ambushed and killed by ISIS fighters. On the same day, a series of Russian and Syrian airstrikes targeted hideouts of the terrorists in the Hama Aleppo Raqqa Triangle. Government forces and their allies will likely respond to ISIS's recent attacks by intensifying their operations in the central region, especially in the eastern Homs countryside.